man, look at all of these choices. All of these different tools. Got a drill. Got this bit. Got this tool. I don't even know what this tool does. How can I possibly make a choice? All I want to do is just drill a simple hole in something. My goodness. There's more tools than Tim the Tool Man. Can somebody please help me out? So spring is here. You want to get into aeroponics gardening and hydroponics gardening. One of the questions that's going to come across, if it already hasn't, is how do I put holes in buckets like these and make holes like these? So as you can see, this one fits my net pots perfectly. So if I was doing a container gardening and I want to use these net pots as my, um, or this K cup as my net pot, will be perfect short on how to make your own netting pots also if I wanted a bigger one I have a bigger hole saw if I want to use these like I have on my DIY bucket which here in a little while I got to do some work because I wasn't having good results on my strawberries I got to get in here and do some work on that but that's how I drilled the holes for my subway bucket So first thing you're gonna need a drill. These are relatively inexpensive. Uh, you can get them from Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart. You can get a good brand, you can get an off brand. This is just a Laporta cable brand. It just all depends on what you wanna spend. You can get a Ryobi or a Black & Decker for relatively inexpensive. So there's your steel jobber drill bit. Have my wood block I'll put it in there and that's just to keep the plastic from cracking because it will crack and put a nice little hole in it like so so advantages simple you can get them anywhere disadvantages the bigger you go, the more expensive that bit may be. For a cheap, smaller set, you may end up paying $30, $40 for a set of maybe 20, 30 bits. But if you want to get bigger, drill holes like anywhere from three quarters and up, like these holes, it's going to be very, very like outrageously stupid expensive, like $40, $50 per bit. So while simple, for bigger holes, not very practical. Next bit, it's called a Forster bit. You see that? Sometimes they call it a flat bottom because it cuts flat as opposed to just cutting at an angle on the tip. Now the advantage to this bit is that if I have an uneven surface like this, I can still drill on an uneven step and it will still be a perfect hole because it drills flat on the bottom it doesn't matter whereas on a regular bit if it's a slope or something like that it will slip off and it will walk on you and it'd be harder to drill on something that's not perfectly 100 percent flat so here's my bucket my sacrificial bucket i'm gonna go right next to it and put my board like so so nice clean hole as you can see here um no jagged edges really great bit the only downside to this bit is the cost again same thing the bigger you go the more expensive that bit gets that bit cost also for a basic set of these you might be looking at minimum 70 60 70 80 bucks one of these might cost you 20 30 bucks a piece these are relatively expensive, but they're really nice to have. I just so happen to have a couple. See that nice clean hole, wasn't cracking or anything. Um, this is, see that, seven eighths. 
Next, we have what's called a spade bit. Got a pilot and two sharp points. Now, if you notice, very rough cuts, very jagged, will walk on you if you don't really secure it. You definitely have to have a block behind it on this one. Um, and it will crack the plastic if you're not careful. Get the job done. It's relatively inexpensive. You can get maybe $30 for a whole set of these. Um, I think the biggest I found is like an inch and a half. So if you want to go bigger than that, you, it, then it starts to get a little bit more expensive. But I mean, they're they're really cheap to, you know, to find. I bought a whole set of these for like maybe 20 bucks. And I think it went up to an inch and a half. Uh, they're easy to use, cheap. It's just that depending on what size you're trying to get, it may get expensive. So there is your spade bit. Next, universal bit. Very nice. And if you can see, it has multiple sizes in one bit. So it's sometimes called a universal bit or a step bit because it has, you know, it's like six different bits in one. And each one is a different size. So this one goes to an inch and an eighth, I think. So there's that hole, nice, clean. It's probably a better option of all of them. Only thing is, again, expensive. This one bit itself costs maybe 40 bucks and they don't make them much bigger than an inch and a half. You start getting over an inch and a half, it can get ridiculously expensive. So depending on what size your net pots are or what size your, um, your whatever you're gonna put your media in for your container gardening or whatever hole you need, it may not be the best option but if you're not going over much over inch inch and an eighth maybe an inch and a quarter then it may work for you so you can see that hole right there as you can see that hole right there Next, gonna probably be your best option is a hole saw. You can get a cheap set. This is a better set. Milwaukee, this one is actually made for multiple materials. It's not the ideal one for plastic. Honestly, the ideal one for plastic would be the cheap generic sets you can get from Walmart. They, they have a different finer tip blade. This one has more of a rougher blade because it's meant for different materials like thicker plastic, wood, metal. So it might not be ideal for what we're doing but let's see so same thing got my wood so not too bad it actually wasn't as rough as i thought it was going to be so there this one is a two no inch and three quarters uh, i got this for my uh, k cups i have some bigger k cups and it'll fit in there um so inch and a quarter no, I'm sorry, inch and three quarters is what this size is. So as you can see, this is your hole saw. You can get a set of these, maybe 25 bucks. Um, they go all the way up to like two and a half inches. I had to get this one separate because it was a particular size that didn't come in the kit, but they go from three quarters up to two inches. So you should, for the most part, find what you need, just depending on where you, you know, what you got. So at the end of the day, that's just a couple different drill bits and techniques that I've showed you uh, so that you can be able to put holes like so and containers like this, right? So you can do your own net pots like so. You can come back and put one of these guys in here like so. And uh, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube where they're taking all different coolers and containers and Tupperware, putting holes in them and doing their hydroponic type systems. So I just wanted to be able to help you guys choose the right bit for the right job, depending on your circumstances and situation. And that's pretty much it. Urban harvest here. At the end of the day, gardening don't have to be complicated, don't have to be expensive. Let's get out and grow something. Yeah, boy.